welcome. Let's find a comfortable seated position. Allow the eyes to softly shut. Start to check in with your breath. Notice what's going on through the nervous system. What's going on with your thoughts. And see if you can observe your breath without controlling it, just noticing how you're breathing. Today I want you to just focus on you. Let it all be about you. So often in our current society and as artists and healers, we are constantly observing what we are doing in order to encapsulate it and give it to someone else. And that's a wonderful goal. It's wonderful to be there for other people, to try to give other people wonderful experiences, to always be observing what we're doing so we can try to recreate it, to give it to someone else. But in that observation, we oftentimes lose that personal, subjective, full experience of allowing ourselves to completely experience something. So as you're sitting with your breath, allow that focus to become even more internal, not thinking about any of the other people around you, not worrying about where we're going, just observing that internal experience and letting it all be about you. Because if we can take this time that we set aside for ourselves and really go deep and let it be about ourselves, then we are more able to be there for other people. Take a deep breath in through the nose for three, two, one, slow, exhale out the nose, three, two, one. Deep inhale in, let the spine get a little longer, crown of the head a little higher. Exhale, relax the shoulders, knees, and hips. Deep inhale in through the nose. Slow, exhale out the nose. Deep inhale in for three, Two, one, hold at the top. Three, two, one, exhale slowly. Three, two, one, hold empty. Three, two, one, deep inhale in. Three, two, one, hold at the top. Three, two, one, exhale slowly. Three, two, one, hold empty. Three, two, one, deep inhale in. Three, Two, one, hold at the top, let it be soft, slow, exhale out, engage the abdomen, hold empty, deep inhale in through the nose, three, two, one, hold softly, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, exhale slowly, five, four, three, two, one, huge inhale in, three, two, one, belly fill up, hold at the top, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale slowly, five, four, three, two, one, one more time, huge inhale and really let the belly fill up, hold softly, notice any thoughts that are still coming by, trying to grab your attention, let all of this just be about your breath.
Exhale slowly. Let it all go. Two, one. Deep inhale in. Long exhale out. Inhale the arms out and up. Bring the palms together. Exhale them down in between the eyes. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart. If you'd like, you can change the crossing of your legs. Just to even out the body, give the legs a little break. And place the right hand down back behind you. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. Come into a nice, easy twist. Gaze out over the right shoulder. Inhale, push down with that right hand. Lengthen a little more. Exhale, release a little deeper. It's allowing the eyes to remain shut. It's keeping that internal exploration. Just allowing this to be about what's happening in your body. What's happening through your shoulders, through your spine. That space in between your shoulder blades. Just focus on those deep breaths. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. Keep that unwind going. Take the left hand behind your back, right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Same deep breaths. Noticing what's happening with the thoughts. Noticing what's happening through the spinal cord, through the shoulders. See if you can relax the shoulders down, twist a little deeper. Find a little deeper breath. One more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. Start to walk your hands out in front of you. Release the forehead down toward the earth. Staying low, walk the hands over to the right. Maybe placing that left hand on top of the right. Just gently opening up through that left side. And keeping the hands reaching long. Walk all the way over to the left. Maybe that right hand on top of the left. Gently coming back through center, start to roll up one vertebra at a time. Reach the arms out and up, inhale in. Exhale, start to lean over to the right. You can let the right fingers come down, reach the left fingers up and over. Maybe placing that right elbow down. Just opening up through that whole left side. Inhale, reaching up through center. Exhale, over to the other side. See if you can root down through your sit bones. Stay long through those right fingers. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, place your hands down. You can change the crossing of your legs again if you would like. Take an inhale in. Exhale at the center of your back. Head back behind you. Roll the chin down towards your chest. Inhale, pick a direction. Start to roll the body. Inhaling all the way forward. Let the head and neck be involved. Exhale all the way back, just exploring the spine, exploring the breath, letting the eyes be shut. Deep inhales as you head forward. Long exhales all the way back. Notice what happens when the shoulders are involved, when the hips get involved. Just exploring the whole nervous system. There's no wrong way to do this. 
unless you lose that connection with your breath. So keep those same inhales, exhales. Then as you're wet, ready with your breath, take it in the opposite direction. Warming up the breath, warming up the spine. And just feeling all of those sensations through the body, through the nervous system. Just letting yourself explore, letting it just be about this experience, just about whatever it is that you're experiencing. Not worrying about what it's doing for your body, not worrying about what it looks like, not worrying about if you're doing it right, but just breathing, exploring, experiencing. Gently allow the spine to come back to neutral. Sit as still as you possibly can. Inhale your arms out to the side. Palms facing forward, thumbs as far away from your pinky as you can get them. Tuck your shoulder blades down and back. Reach long through the spine. See if you can relax your hip flexors by relaxing your knees and hips. Allow the right ear to come down toward the right shoulder. Reach a little longer through the left fingertips. Keeping that ear reaching down, turn the gaze up. Same deep breaths. Reach the fingertips a little farther away. Reach the thumb a little farther from the pinky. Turn the gaze down. Same deep breaths. Relax the shoulders into your chest, left ear, left shoulder, just allow yourself to explore through these sensations, see if you can reach the fingers a little longer, breathe through that tingle, turn the gaze up. Reach the fingers a little wider. Pull the shoulder blades down a little more. Reach the fingertips a little farther away from each other. Turn the gaze down. Chin to your chest. Inhale, bring the spine back long, reach the fingertips up, hold the breath at the top, sip in a little more air in through the mouth, open the mouth, exhale it out, release the fingers down, place the fingers out in front of you, roll up over your knees, come into tabletop. So spread the hands, wrists under the shoulders, let your knees be slightly behind your hips. Notice if your toes are lined up with your knees, lined up with your hips. Then inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And exhale in reverse, closing the eyes, just continue to explore through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Notice how there's a little more space in that lumbar spine and the low spine to really tilt the pelvis, exhale, reverse. Take a few cat and cows at the pace of your breath, really letting that low spine get involved. Keep pressing down through the tips of the fingers, spread the toes, press down through the tops of the toes. Just letting this exploration be all about you, all about spoiling yourself. It's okay, it's not selfish to take this time just for you. Not trying to document it or figure it out, how to give it to someone else. 
You know, we all spend a lot of time worrying about other people. Take a little time just to worry about yourself, your experience, your spine, your breath. And allow the spine to come back to neutral. Start to press down to the tips of the fingers. So much so, pushing down especially through that second knuckle. And start to lift the heels of your hands up off the earth. Slowly release down. Now if you push down with the tips of your fingers and nothing happens, and take your weight a little farther back, you can bring your knees a little closer to your hands. Press down through the tips of the fingers. Use the strength of your wrists. Now it's important to keep your wrists moving exactly in sync with each other because otherwise you're just transferring the weight to one side and lifting the opposite wrist. So continue to lift the wrists, working on that wrist strength. Keep the fingers grounded down. And then send your hips back towards your heels. Keep that alignment of toe, ankle, knees. Go ahead and come sitting up on your heels. Make a little pillow with your mat or your knees. Let your hands come out in front of you. Turn the fingers down, palms out. Pull the fingers back. And roll the hands out. Make little fists. Roll the wrists, and then turn the fingers up. Once again, roll the fingers in, roll the wrists, turn the palms down. And again, roll the wrists, and turn the palms up. And then grab the fingers on one side. Release the palm forward, getting into our wrists, and at the same time, spread your toes, press down through the tips of your toes, keeping the ankles and the shin muscles all active, so we're getting into our ankles at the same time, and switch hands. And release the hands down. Noticing if your heels are coming to the outsides of your hips, see if you can get them right into your glute med right here in the center. Really spread the toes, press down with each toe, start to engage the core, send the weight back, maybe just staying here, feeling that activity through the ankles, through the shins, maybe trying to take some of the weight out of the knees. Same deep breaths. And gently find your way back forward. Come standing on your knees. Tuck your toes. Should feel nice. Release on those ankles. Be sure that the pinky toe gets involved. And start to sit back on your heels. Releasing through the bottoms of the feet, through the toes. Maybe starting to send the knees a little farther forward. Really release through the toes. Little counter stretch. And then come standing on your knees. Come into a nice gentle back bend. We're barely warmed up. So just be nice. Send the hips forward. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe let the head release. I would suggest not letting your hands go down towards your heels quite yet, unless you have a really flexible back. Just exploring the body, exploring what's happening right now with your breath. See if you can use your hands on your low back to push down on your pelvis to lengthen through the low back as you lift up and over. And gently coming back forward, send your hips all the way back. Reach your fingers out in front of you. 
You can untuck your toes and come into child's pose. Release the low back. Release your breath. Release the forehead down. Same deep breaths. Find your way back to tabletop. You can leave that little pillow in your mat, just a little cushion for your knees. And then engage your core, bring that right knee up towards your nose. And see if you can place it down right next to your right hand. Check that alignment of that second toe lined up with the ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Start to push down with the top of that left foot. Be sure the right knee isn't coming out over the right toes. Sink the hips forward. Start to pull back on the right heel. Like you're scissoring your hips. See if you can even find a little shake as you engage through your glute, pulling it forward, pulling that hip up and in. Take an inhale in. Keep that right heel active. Exhale, slowly start to send those hips back. As you do, notice if they start to shake from side to side. See if you can keep them in line. Start to flex the right toes, crown of the head down. Inhale slowly, rolling all the way forward. We're just exploring where all those little places are where our hips are trying to avoid. From old injury, from tightness, start to send the hips back and just start to explore at your own pace. See if you can lift the right toes the entire time and continuously pull back on that right heel so your right hamstring never stops being active. Find your way forward. Keep pulling back on that right heel the whole way forward. Keep those right toes lifted. Helps to keep that right hamstring active. And as you head back, start to notice those little spots where the hips are drifting to one side or the other, trying to avoid certain connectors, certain muscle groups in the hips. Keep that right heel active, right toes pulling back, heading forward. Very nice. This time as you're forward, just tuck the left toes and come up to the lunge. Now that same sensation of pulling that left hip forward, right hip back. You can leave the little pillow in your mat. We're going to head back to it in just a second. Now, see if you can start to lift up out of your shoulders, really engage your core, and then take the weight out of that front foot. Now, if you start to try to lift that right foot and nothing happens, maybe come up to your knuckles to give yourself a little more space. Maybe up to the tips of your fingers. Or if you have a block or a friend you can put your hands on. Engage the core. See if you can just lift those toes and place them back down. It engages a lot of very strange muscles. My body's not used to engaging. See if on an inhale... You can inhale, lift, and exhale, place down. Inhale, lift one more time. Gently send that right foot back to meet the left. Come into plank. Take a few deep breaths, engage the core, roll the shoulders back. And then gently place the knees down. Come back into tabletop. If you need to remake that little pillow, feel free to do so. And then start to bring that left knee up into your chest, knee to nose. See if you can softly place that left foot down near that left hand, engaging some of those same strange muscles. Second toe, ankle, knee, and hip on each side. Be sure that that left ankle is right under the left knee. Start to pull back on the left heel. Go ahead and lift the left toes, really getting a nice high medial arch, that internal arch in the foot. Start to take some of the weight out of the hands. 
Feel that right hip pulling forward and in, left hip pulling back. Take an inhale in. Exhale, keep that left heel really active, slowly heading back. Noticing where the hips are heading, just from side to side. Try and keep them right in line with the front of your mat. Inhale, heading all the way forward. Keep that left heel pulling back. Notice those little places where the hips are trying to avoid that little bit of musculature. Keep those left toes pulling back. Slowly head all the way back. See if you can keep your chest attached to your thigh as long as possible. Pulling those toes. Pull that heel. Keep it active. Heading all the way forward. Exploring those little spots where we start to lose our balance, where the hips try to sway from one side to the other. These are all the little habits that our hips have of avoidance, avoiding trauma, avoiding inflexible places, slowly send the hips back, avoiding places that lack strength. You feel all those little adjustments the hips keep trying to make. See if you keep them lined up. Slowly heading all the way forward. And this time plant the hands. Tuck the back toes. See if you can engage those left obliques through the left hip and lift the toes, the foot just a centimeter off the earth. If nothing happens, try the knuckles, tips of the fingers. Inhale and lift. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift one more time. This time slowly exhale it all the way back. Take a few deep breaths in plank. Find all of that Alignment with your hips, lined up with your heels, with your toes. Pressing down through the tips of the fingers, rolling the shoulders back. Take an inhale in. Exhale, take the weight forward and down. Chaturanga, shoulders way out over the fingertips. Inhale right back up for plank, elbows in. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up, your back bend of choice, cobra. Maybe straightening the arms, might be feeling a little warm. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, floating down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up, your back bend of choice. Exhale back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, floating down. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, child's pose. This time you can undo that pillow if you still have one. Knees nice and wide, big toes together. A few deep breaths. Just allowing that exploration, allowing this time just for you. You know, it may seem like we're going through very simple things, but in that simplicity, can you just allow that exploration? Allow yourself to go deeper into what's happening through your entire nervous system in these more simple postures, more simple poses. Slowly find your way back, downward facing dog.
Pull the low ribs in. Ground down to the tips of the fingers. Release the heels. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale one forearm at a time, down to forearm plank. Interlace the fingers except for the pinky and ring. Really push down to the tips of those fingers. Pull the elbows toward each other, back towards your toes. Like you're trying to wrinkle up your mat one more time. Find that little shake and quiver. Reach a little longer through the crown of the head. Notice if your shoulders are out over your elbows. Walk your elbows out a little further. Bring your right fingertips towards your left elbow. Bring your feet together back behind you. Roll onto the outside of that right foot. Reach the left fingers up. Really working those right obliques, getting those hips a little higher. Same deep breaths. Slowly coming back through center, forearm plank. Left fingers, right elbow. Roll onto the outside of the left foot. Right fingers up. Really engage those left obliques. Get the hips a little higher. Long inhales, long exhales. Spread the fingers on both hands. Coming back through, forearm plank. One hand at a time, inhale up for plank. Opposite forearm down, forearm plank. Opposite hand from what you used last time, inhale up for plank. Opposite forearm down, forearm plank. Breathe a little deeper. Engage the core a little more. See if you can release your hip flexors. The place in front of your hips. And release the core down. Roll the shoulders back. Place the palms out. Sinks. Pull the elbows back towards your hips. Release the core. You'll be rocking gently from side to side. And releasing down, right hand out to the right side. Left hand under the left shoulder. Bend the left knee. Send that left heel up and over. Really pressing down with that whole right palm. Lifting that right forearm. Keeping that right shoulder active and opening. Maybe slowly reaching those left fingers back. See how that brings your shoulder blades a little closer together. Opens up a little more through that right collar. Same deep breath. Press down a little more through that right palm. And gently release. Reach the left hand out to the left side, right hand under the right shoulder, bend the right knee. Send that heel up and over. It's exploring all of these sensations all through the shoulder, shoulder blade, maybe slowly reaching those right fingers up and back, just noticing what that does to the body, notice what it does to the breath. Closing the eyes, exploring. If there's any pinching in that left elbow, Keep a little bend in the elbow. Keep 
gently release, coming back through center. Make a little pillow with your hands, turn one cheek down. Really release. Let your heart rate slow down, let your breath come easy. Just exploring everything that's happening through the nervous system. Letting it just be about you, about your sensations, your experience. Slowly find your way back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees just an inch up off the earth. Keeping the shoulder blades tucked in, crown of the head long. Keep the core engaged. Same deep breath. On an inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Notice if that second toe is lined up with your ankle, knees, and hips. Release down, shake the head yes and no. Tilting down from the pelvis, see if you can keep your low ribs in. And then inhale, coming halfway up. Tuck the chin, feeling long. Start to transfer the weight toward the heels. Exhale, reach your fingers out in front of you. Engage the low back, feel long. Inhale, lengthen a little more. Exhale, and release down. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lengthen, really transfer the weight to the heels. Exhale, release down, transfer the weight back toward the balls of the feet. Inhale up. Exhale and reach. I'm going to be here for just a few breaths. Really transfer the weight back towards your heels, engage your low back, reach the fingers a little bit longer. Same long inhales, long exhales. One more inhale in. Exhale, gently release down, maybe pulling against the backs of the legs, feel a little longer through the torso. Shake the head, yes, and no, release it down. Bend deeply into your knees, keep your chest on your thigh, reach the fingertips out. On your next inhale, coming up, chair pose. Chest high, weight towards your heels. Same alignment of toes, knees, and hips. Take any of that work out of the low back by getting the chest a little higher. Take an inhale in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Right elbow, left thigh. Push down with that left hand, open the heart, same deep breaths. Notice if the knees are collapsing toward each other, coming out of alignment. And inhale up, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, but this time transfer the weight over towards your left foot. Start to reach that right heel back behind you as you straighten the left leg. 
same deep breaths. Notice if that right hip is stacking it all on top of the left, pull it back down. Slowly bring that right knee up into your chest. And keep your hands at heart center. Start to bend into that left knee. Float. Deep breaths. And then take your chest forward, but then arch your low back like you're doing a cobra. Deep breaths. Keep that left knee bending a little more. And then place the right foot down. Inhale up, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left elbow, right thigh. Push down with that right hand. Same deep breaths. Bend a little deeper. Open the chest a little more. Long inhales, long exhales. Exploring. Inhale, coming back, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Transfer the weight over toward the right foot. Start to send that left heel back as you straighten the right leg. Notice if that left hip is stacking it all on top of the right, pull it back down. Same deep breaths. Just experiencing these perhaps new sensations, not trying to make sense of or document them. Slowly bring that left knee up into your chest. Start to bend the right knee. Start to take the chest forward as you bend deeper into the right knee and then engage your low back like you're doing a cobra. Bend a little deeper into that knee. Gently place the left foot down. Inhale up, Utkatasana. Exhale, lead with the heart. Straighten the legs. Release down. Release through the low back. Release the head. Interlace the hands behind the back. Try and keep your palms together. Send your pinkies up and over. And gently release your fingers down to the earth. Walking back out, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, shoulders way out, chaturanga. Inhale, through and up. Exhale, back, downward facing dog or child's pose. Take a few breaths. Might be some slightly unfamiliar sensations happening through the body. See if you could just recognize them as unfamiliar, not necessarily positive or negative. Just a new experience. Don't try to make sense of it or try to figure out how you would explain it to someone else. Not just experience it. Find your way to downward facing dog. Inhale the right heel up. Be sure that right hip doesn't stack at all on top of the left. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place the right foot down near the right hand. 
Finding that same lunge, pulling that heel back, left hip forward, hands to hips, and come up. Bend a little deeper, pull a little more with the hips. If you're trying to scissor your hips, same deep breaths. Float that left knee an inch above the earth. Engage through the hips, pull the core in. Deep breaths, right hand down, left hand up and over. See if you can keep that left knee floating. Take it slightly back. Straighten that left leg, open up through that left psoas, down through the hip. Inhale up, crescent pose. One more inhale in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left elbow, right thigh. Find whichever variation you would like. It's nice twists, deep breaths, long inhales, long exhales. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. You can make a little pillow with the left side of your mat. Place that left knee down. That left quad should really feel like it's been turned on. So you can just sink your hips forward if you would like. Maybe keep that left hand down. Reach back for that left foot with the right hand. Maybe reach back with both. Seeing if you can connect that left heel with the left glute. Start to send the hips forward. Only as far as you can keep that heel attached. Same deep breaths. Gently releasing the left side. Place the hands down. Bring your hands to your hips. Start to sink the hips forward. It'll create a natural little arch in your back. Reach the fingertips up. Interlace except for that index finger. Maybe gazing up towards your fingers. The farther forward you sink your hips, the more you can reach back with the fingertips. Same deep breaths. One more inhale in. Exhale, slowly unwind. Tuck the back toe. Send that right foot back and up. It's releasing that hip. Place it down next to the left. Inhale forward, plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog or child's pose. Take a few breaths. Feeling those sensations through that right hip. Finding that deep breath. Find your way into downward facing dog. Inhale that left heel up. Exhale, bring it forward and through. Move slow, move with control. Find that lunge, scissoring the hips. Deep breaths. Take the weight out of the hands. Keep the hips active, pulling back on that left heel. Bring the hands to your hips. Same activity. Bend a little deeper. Pull the hips a little farther forward. Engage the core. Float that right knee. Same deep breaths. Left hand down. Right arm up and over. 
Lean it back. Keep that right arm as straight as you can, opening through that right side. Same long inhales, long exhales. Straighten that right leg. Keep reaching through the right side. Same deep breaths. Inhale up, crescent pose. Breathe. One more inhale in. Exhale, hands to heart center, right elbow, left thigh. Long inhales, long exhales. Whatever variation you would like. Deep breaths. It's all just for your exploration, for your breath, your experience. Slowly unwind, a little pillow with that right side. Place that knee down and tuck the toes. Sink the hips, right hand down. Staying here, bending into that right knee, reach back with the left. Sink the hips. Find whatever variation you would like. Listen to your body, listen to your breath. Long inhales, long exhales. It's your exploration. It's all about your experience. Gently release. Hands to hips. Come up. As you sink the hips forward, let that little natural arch happen. Reach the fingers up. Same deep breaths. Find that same long inhale. Long exhale. One more inhale in. Exhale, slowly release. Tuck the back toes. Send that left foot up and back. Release that left hip. Place it down. Find your way through a vinyasa. You can exhale back to child's pose. We're going to find our way into sheer sasana headstand if it's in your practice. Come into dolphin first. Interlace the fingers except for the pinky. Place the crown of the head down. Walk the toes a little closer. Have an exit strategy if you're going to roll out, roll out. Move slowly. Same deep breath. Finding some stillness in your inversion. Or just taking a few breaths in child's pose. <sighs> Exploring any of these new sensations through the body. Just letting them be unfamiliar. Trying not to judge them as positive or negative. Just experiencing them. Not trying to make sense of them. For those of you in Sheer Sasana, as you're ready, whenever you're ready, it's your experience. Meet us in child's pose, let the blood realign. Same deep breaths. 
letting the heart rate slow down. Find your way into downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. Exhale, bring it forward and through. Place that back heel down and come up, warrior two. Just taking a moment to open the hips. Still with that second toe lined up with the ankle, trying to open that left hip back. Second toe, knee, hip, tucking the hips under. And start to reach out and down, extended side angle. You might find that you're already pretty open. Maybe place that right hand down. Bind if it's in your practice. Just finding a few breaths and a nice extended side angle. Pulling that right hip under. Opening that left hip back. Start to straighten that right leg. Find your triangle pose. Keep that right hip tucked. Trying to align each and every joint. Pull that right hip in a little more. Pull back on that right heel. And then gently release down, coming back into that lunge. Place the left knee down and tuck the toes. Walk the right foot over to the left side of the mat. Keep those right toes active as you place the right knee down. Bring the left knee up if you need to. Modify the pigeon. Start to find your way out. Maybe making fists with your hands so you can release your head a little more comfortably to feel long through the spine. It's not so much of a round. Keep the right toes active. Let the rest of the body start to release. Finding those deep breaths. It's all about your exploration, your experience. Slowly come up to your hands, tuck the left toes back behind you, send that right foot up and back, release the hip, come back, downward facing dog, inhale the left heel up, exhale bring it forward and through, warrior two, notice if your stance is long enough, so you can tuck those hips, long side of the mat, deep breaths, same alignment, same opening in the hips, core engaged, relax the shoulders, fingertips out, long inhales, long exhales.
start to make your way out. Notice if you feel a little more open, maybe making your way, whatever variation you would like. Tucking that left hip under, opening that right hip back. Notice where your weight is. Notice where your breath is. Notice where your thoughts are. Start to straighten that left leg. Deep breath. Find your way to that lunge. Place that back knee down. Walk the left toes over. Keep them flexed. Make your way down. Notice your spot of greatest resistance. See if you can breathe into it. Keeping those left toes active, see if you can get a little longer through the spine. Exploring through the body. Exploring these sensations, this experience. This experience right now has a certain finality, certain finality to it. I always like the analogy of you can never put your foot in the same river twice. Slowly come up to your hands, tuck those right toes back behind you. Gently send that left foot back. Release that hip. Find your way down to tabletop. Make a little pillow with your mat. Place your knees. Come standing on your knees. Come back into that back bend now that we're nice and warm. Send the hips forward. Roll the shoulders back. Let the head fall back. Maybe reaching your fingertips towards your heels, keeping those hips heading forward. Same deep breaths. Feeling the spine lengthening like it's trying to lift up and over 
the tightest spot in your back. Just as slowly as you came into it, make your way back out. Again, send those hips down. Reach the fingertips out. Release that low back. One more time, gently find your way up. Hands to your low back, send the hips forward. Heart up and over, maybe reaching back, just allowing the body to open a little bit more. Just as slowly as you came into it, make your way back out. Release down. Child's pose. Slowly rolling up. Let go of that little pillow in the mat. Let your feet come out in front of you. Pull that left heel in, right heel out. Walk toward the front of your mat. Turn the chest right over the toes. Inhale, get the spine long. Reach the fingers up if you would like. Exhale. Try and get your chest out over your knee so you're tilting from the pelvis. Reach down for the shin, the ankle, whatever you can grab. And then inhale like you're trying to do a cobra. Engage that low back. Put a little arch in the low back. Pull yourself a little closer to your toes. Exhale, round just your upper spine. So think about keeping your low back right where it is. Inhale, coming up. Engage that low back. Pull the belly button out and over. Exhale, round just the upper spine. Keep that like you're trying to keep an arch in your low back. Inhale up, exhale and release, inhale up and over, exhale release and round, inhale up and over, exhale release a little deeper, take a few deep breaths. See what happens when you release your quadriceps. See if you can find a little more length through the hamstrings. And then see what happens when you engage your quadriceps. Pull those toes back a little harder. Slowly keeping everything heavy, especially your head, start to roll up. Take the left hand back behind you. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Nice little twist. Find that twist as deep and low in that back as you can. Gently unwind. Left foot out. Right foot in. Long through the spine, already feeling that engagement in the low back, so that as you tilt forward, you feel it coming from the pelvis tilting forward, not from the rounding of the low back, reaching everything out and up. Grab on wherever you can. Pull back on those left toes, maybe even using your fingertips. And then inhale, engage that low back, find that cobra, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, round down. Inhale, coming up, engage that low back. Really feel the belly coming forward. Keep the low back right where it is. Let the round come just from the upper spine. 
Inhale up. Exhale round. Inhale, pulling back on that left leg like you're trying to push your femur back into your pelvic bone. Exhale and round. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, round a little deeper. Take a few deep breaths. Each inhale lengthening with each exhale getting a little longer. See what happens when you release your quadriceps. See if you can get a little more opening in the hamstrings. And then engage your quadricep to straighten that leg. Pull those left toes back. Same deep breaths. Keeping the head heavy. Slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time. Right hand back behind you, left hand outside of that right thigh, twist. And gently release, and perhaps you've guessed it, all of this has been leading up to Paschimottanasana. Both feet out in front of you, all of that opening through the hips, all of that lateral movement, just to all work toward here. So in that same way, pull that flesh away, feel the pelvis already starting to tilt forward, chest up, maybe reach the fingertips up to feel a little longer. Pull those toes back, start to reach out and over, don't let it come from the low back, reach it up. Reach the fingertips wherever you can, maybe grabbing onto the shins. And in that same way, inhale, engage the low back. Try and create that little cobra. Exhale, release just the upper spine down. Keep that low back like it's trying to create an arch. Inhale, coming up. Pull wherever you can. Get the belly a little closer out over the knees. Exhale and release. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, release everything all the way down. Inhale, coming all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. Belly out over the toes. Exhale, release it all down. I'm going to be here for a little while. Take some long breaths. See if you can feel, in yoga it's called the life nerve, in anatomy it's this wonderful piece of fascia that encircles all of our organs and muscles, every part of our body is surrounded by fascia. So there is a piece of fascia that runs through the bottoms of our feet, all the way down through the backs, through the Achilles heel, through the backs of our knees, all the way through our glutes runs to either side of our spine, comes all the way up in between our shoulder blades, and then connects all the way up back here in the crown of our head. And when you're in Paschimottanasana, in this forward fold, especially when you have those toes flexing back towards you, it's the most extreme place where this entire fascia can feel elongated. So you might have some strange sensations in your back. You might have some strange sensations in your neck and shoulders, especially when you release your head, when you release the weight of your head. You're pulling and lengthening through that giant piece of fascia that's not used to being pulled. And the reason that we do that inhale in order to contract the fascia is actually so that the fascia can soak up more fluids so that when you again exhale and get a little longer it has more fluid in order to extend even further it has more mass so even here while you're sitting and releasing see if with each inhale you can feel all of that contraction and then soaking up of that fluids and then exhale feeling it lengthen a little more 
And then as all these strange sensations are happening through the spinal cord, see if you can breathe a little deeper and just allow those sensations to wash over you, We're not judging them or trying to make sense of this very strange and unfamiliar si situation feeling, but just allowing it, experiencing it, exploring it. Keeping the head heavy, one millimeter at a time, slowly start to roll up. And we're going to roll all the way back, place your forearms back on the earth, feel that release through the spinal cord, let the head fall back. Take a moment and a little bit of an arch. And then release yourself all the way gently down to the earth. Let your toes fall away from each other. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other. Reach the crown of the head a little longer. If you'd like a little physical adjustment, I'll come around. You can leave your palms up. If you'd rather conserve your energy, turn your palms down or tuck them underneath you. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue. Really allow this time for you. It's time for your breath. It's time of healing, integration, release. Not worrying about your surroundings, any of the should, could, would. Allowing the body to release and relax. Letting it go. Allowing this time of integration, finding space for all of that work that you've done. Allowing this time of healing, time for your breath, time for you, allowing yourself just to be.
Slowly find your way back. Notice how you're breathing. Listen to your breath. Decide if you would like to stay here, or start to activate the fingers and toes, maybe stretching the arms up above you. Again, deciding to release down into your mat, or gently rolling onto one side or the other, find your way back to that same comfortable seated position. Allowing the eyes to remain softly shut, in order to complete that internal journey, that space just for you. Notice if your nervous system is sitting a little calmer, if your breath is coming a little easier, if your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. And notice if after supporting and taking care of yourself, you feel more in a space to support and take care of others. Inhale the arms out and up. Bring the palms together. Exhale it all down in between the eyes. May your life be filled with enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. Namaste. Take your time. There is absolutely no rush. I just want to thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you. It takes a lot of trust to explore, trust in your breath, and trust in me, so thank you for that. As most of you know, these are all donation-based classes. For those of you that make it here in person, there's a donation station on your way out. And for those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. We ask that you honor the suggested $15 donation if you are able, or leave whatever you can so that we can continue to bring this service to our community and to the world. I hope you will take some of this wonderful work that you've done with you into your day, week, month, and life. Because it's not just the time that we spend on our mats that brings about change, but every conscious breath that we take in our lives. So I hope that you have a brilliant one. Namaste.